All right, how's everybody doing? Good. Um, does Does anybody know what this is? What What type of bike lock is it? Well, they call them U locks. It was invented in 1971 by a company called Albus out of Germany. And guess what's happened 42 years later? Nothing. Nothing's changed. They've done bigger ones. They've done smaller ones. They've done ones in color, more colors, different keyways, but literally nothing. And there's hundreds of manufacturers that make them, and they didn't do anything like that. So what we did was, these are the best locks you can buy to protect your bike. They're strong, they're secure. Yeah, you can use an angle grinder on them and a power jacks and all that. But it really, it protects your bike the best. And a lot of bike thieves sort of stay away from them. But the biggest problem is people complain that they're bulky and heavy and hard carrying their bikes. And I've personally talked to manufacturers about it, and they said that they've kind of given up on the brackets. They don't fit the bike frames. This weighs up to three or four pounds. They rotate, they come flying off the bike. People just sort of throw them in their, in their back pocket. They put them in a backpack. They put them over the handlebars and they do all that. So what we've done is that we've broken up the U on the U-lock. And basically it's a bag about the size of a burrito and it holds your very secure lock in it. And basically it has a non-locking side that does not use a key. And basically you turn these in like this. And then you put this over and you get a complete lock. So you have a high security lock that's compact and it fits behind your seat or you can throw it in your backpack and you get all the security of that. And we called it Veer and I'm gonna show you a little uh, video on it. Being happily married, we decided to merge our other two loves, designing and bicycling. We had become frustrated with the locks on the market and decided to design a better lock. After intensive research, we found that cable locks and folding locks were easy to carry, but not as secure as U-locks. U-locks had the best security, but most people felt they were bulky and hard to fit on their bike frames. We decided to break the U-lock apart and design a compact, high-security bike lock. We named it Veer. Veer is a bicycle lock that comes apart in four pieces. Its unique design features two locking bodies that interlock with two straight shackle sections. Um, so, oh, let me stop this. So, what we did with this is we've came up with a new lock category, and it's basically high security locks that can break down. And what we've decided to do is launch it into the bike industry first, because they're more willing to accept new things and to pay for them. And what we, we want to do is, is divide this up into three segments. We're going to have a hardware division where we'll sell to contractors and other people. We're going to have the bicycle uh, industry area and then we're gonna have the motorcycle scooter area, and then we'll probably have like an other area, which is like governments and other people that wanna lock up stuff. The other thing that we wanna do is we wanna to license the to technology where you can take things that you traditionally could not lock up, like surfboards, barbecues, patio furniture, all like that, and what we'll do is we'll sell the, basically the, the little zinc die cast part that's in here, and you can add it to the side of a generator, and then you can buy these and then lock it up. And what's good about that is if you lose your key, or if this lock mechanism gets damaged, the non-locking side doesn't matter. So your generator, you can just buy new ones of these. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna offer longer shackles. So if you mostly, a short shackle is the most secure shackle, but if you wanna to go to a longer shackle, you have a friend that comes over and like, let's go ride somewhere. We're gonna sell just these shackles by themselves. So we're gonna have, these are short shackles, they're standard length and long shackles. 
The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to offer shackles that have a bend in them. So if you have a motorcycle wheel and you have trouble going around it, you can actually install this on a very large diameter wheel where traditional U-locks are bound by the opening of the U. So we'll actually break that boundary. So we can actually go around things that have bigger diameters, but we're not constrained by this actual opening between this. And that's my presentation, and if anybody has any questions,